Very interesting, and, and, and as my opinion, I think it's probably some of the more damning um, evidence that's been put forward so far. Now, I'm joined with Gwendolyn Lindsay Jackson in the studio. How are you doing today, Gwendolyn? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Always a pleasure. And we also have Judge Birmingham via Skype as well. Good morning, Your Honor. Or good afternoon, sorry. Well, good, good afternoon. It's good to hear you. Good to yeah. see you. Yeah, always a pleasure. So, Judge, we'll start with you. It's not a smoking gun. It's not an absolute guilt or innocence. But these Google searches, if they are not specific and damning, I do not know what is. Well, they, they are certainly not helpful for the defense, and they certainly imply premeditation. They imply a design for killing. They uh, uh, certainly show a motive, a ill will on behalf of the, this defendant against his wife. Um, this is not good. And is this one thing that's going to make him guilty? No. Is it a, a part of a larger puzzle that is certainly not uh, helping him at all? You bet it is. Yeah. Now, Gwendolyn, when I first heard about the Google searches, I was thinking, you know what? It's probably one or two, not a big deal. Um, I thought to myself, you know what? Every man or every person, sorry, who murders their spouse is angry. But not every angry person murders their spouse. But the depth of these searches begs me to ask the question, defense, what are you going to say to mitigate this? What, what do you think can be said, or should they not say anything, or should they, like, what should they do here? Well, I, I think it's going to be very difficult for them. Of course, this is very um, important information for the prosecution to show motive and show the ill will, but you want to try to say that maybe that somebody else had access to it, uh, maybe it was a part of a, a jumble of different types of searches that he was doing and uh, really wasn't honing in on one particular issue. It's going to be tough, but that's the only thing they have to go on, I think. Yeah. And, and, and Roger, I'll ask this one to you. I mean, he's been cheated on once. He has suspicions or has found out that she cheated again. I don't think he's going to be researching where do I find a coupon for Bed Bath & Beyond for my, for my wife? Um, how do I send her an edible arrangement? I mean, there's going to be some anger in his searches there. So is that just like, hey, man, like, it's understandable. No, I, I think that as a defense, you have to take that on. Whatever the, the most damning evidence is in the case, you have to take it on, you know, right? You have to take it on. You have to, you, he may take the stand and he may say, look, I was mad. I was upset. But this was a long time ago. This was months ago. This was years ago. Maybe I was upset and I thought about it, um, but I didn't do it. I didn't. I didn't drown her. I mean, there's there's no search on killing someone with a with a pitchfork or, or whatever that the corn fork. Um, people can be mad, like you just said. An angry man kills his wife, but there's a lot of angry men who don't kill their wife. I, I think that's a great point, and I would use that, and that'd probably be the theme of my case. Yeah, I think it'd be interesting. Let's turn back and look at some of more of the testimony from this investigator who did more research into electronic devices from this household. So a very quick and interesting witness, this being Todd's brother, Gwendolyn, we didn't really get much other than I've had access to the iPad as well. How, how does that help unless the brother's planning to murder uh, the wife as well? Well, it's not very helpful. I mean, uh, what the defense wants to do is to establish that somebody else must have had access to the iPad and maybe they put forth some of those searches. But I'm not really getting that here from this witness. Yeah, R Roger, it, it seems that we have another witness taking the stand. So let's jump right in to see what's going on. Very interesting as we're hearing some of the testimony from the defense's witness. Uh, Roger, we were talking briefly while we were listening to some of the testimony about some of the comments you've seen uh, on the Long Crime Trial Network uh, website. Can you discuss a little bit what you read and, and how the, you feel it fits into this case? You know, one of the viewers was talking, Brian, about the searches made and who had access, including the wife. And if the wife had done searches in regards to a cheating spouse and what the results would be and whatever other website issues came up, it would be very curious to see not only the, the searches that were done on Aztecs, searches that were done um, in regards to killing or murdering or whatever, but to see what was searched just before that and just after that, to see if it would be more congruent with a man's search or, or a woman's search, depending on what it is. It, it may lead us another direction instead of thinking that he made them search. Yeah, it's interesting. Also, some of the hour in which these searches were made. Judge Birmingham, what are you glimpsing? I know it's pretty early in the defense's case, but what are we to get? Just that multiple people had access to this uh, iPad? Yeah, the, these, uh, the, 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 the problem with 
technical evidence like this, a search, a text message, something like that, is that you rarely, if ever, actually have somebody witnessing the other person actually performing the search. So I think Mr. Foley brings up a good point. They're going to be looking for context before and after these searches to see uh, about who most likely was the one to be uh, doing these searches. I'd also want to point out, I think the first witness for the defense um, was could have been helpful because that witness was saying, I had access to uh, this, this, uh, this camera, these cameras, and they were down. In other words, I it's absolutely not agree, like the Judge. Sorry, I got to cut, cut you off. off. But it yeah. does appear that there seems to be a defense that's building here. Got to find out more after this break.